Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. So today uh, we're going to talk about how to customize your action bar, okay? And this is what I mean. You can see, uh, take note of this action bar here. You can see it is written action bar stuff, okay? This is the only thing written over there. If I click, you can see the uh, icon used. Uh, if I click it, it is not clickable. But once I come, I click the button. Okay, you can see it's changing dynamically. So you can see the icon. You can see now the title is programming tutorial. Then you can see uh, welcome message over there, and you can see that it is clickable. Okay, so this is what we're going to do um, using uh, Eclipse. So please fire up yours. So here is my uh, form. I've already designed mine. You can see I've called it change. Then when I click. Uh, I've just left it with that uh, button one ID. Okay. Now when you come to the I main activity, uh, please come to the rest folder. You can see the drawable right here. Just copy paste an image, an image, and put it over there. I've already pasted this special folder. So this is what I'm going to do. The first thing uh, we shall uh, declare the button. So say uh, b button button btn then I come to code now in the code we, sh we shall set its own click listener after initializing it so say find view by id r dot id uh, r dot id dot button one then of course uh, we cast it to button after that one we shall set its uh, on click listener so say button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener then inside here uh, the first thing that we shall do is that we shall enable the tap on the button we shall make it clickable okay so make uh, make it clickable and to do that one is so simple actually we first of all call the get action method get action by method okay then after calling the get action by method uh, we set a uh, home button enabled so say set home button enable we set it to true okay Yeah, that's how we set to that's how uh, we make our action bar clickable then after making it uh, clickable of course we want to display the app okay the home app button okay the arrow there is some arrow uh, uh, the back arrow we want to display it so uh, what we do we say uh, get action bar okay get action bar uh, dot set display home as app enable as app enable we set it to true okay then uh, after setting the home as app enabled i also want to set the icon remember we want a custom icon so again we shall say let me just comment in a minute Uh, so say uh, get action bar okay dot set icon then we pass uh, the id of the icon r dot drawable dot special folder okay after setting uh, the id the this one will enable us to change uh, dynamically so you can put any image here okay uh, this will this shall enable us to change the uh, icon of the action bar when 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 our button is clicked then after what else do you want to do Pro we want to ch change the title so i'll say get action bar dot set title Then for the title, I'll just write a uh, programming 
tutorial after setting the title of course you also want to set uh, the subtitle now this the subtitle I shall just say welcome okay and the, uh, this uh, that's how we change let's put this one over here now uh, when I run let's wait and see so guys here is our app okay you can see uh, uh, it's just static I click the uh, button okay you can now see it is changing you can see the folder uh, the title the subtitle you can see the back arrow okay the home has up uh, arrow just uh, beside this one so guys hope you've enjoyed the tutorial please if you have uh, uh, like this video comment on it uh, subscribe to this channel share it with your friends and please take care see you next time